Okay, good morning. So, uh, I'm making this small video that's gonna help you guys uh, convert your Excel tables into uh, matrix. So, these are the steps. I have like uh, 10 steps here. Uh, you should be able to uh, write them down and I will be following them. So the first step here is you need to download the Excel to LaTeX add-in. You can use this link. Let me just I'm going to copy the link. Oh, let me just open it. Okay, so this is where it is sending me. So now over here, you have to click on uh, download. Let me try. So if it doesn't work like this, what I always do is I try to open it in a new uh, window. So you have to, uh, let me go check in my download box. Okay, you can see here, I have this file here, okay? Excel to Latin. So this is the add-in that I try to put into my Excel. Now, you go to Excel. Oh, I'm sorry, let me do this. So you go to Excel. This is Excel. Okay. Uh, you go to File. Click on Option. Go to Add-ins here. Then at the bottom here, you're gonna, there should be many options here like Actions, Disable Items and so on. But you have to click on Excel Add-ins. Then click on Go. So you'll have any options here, like analysis tool pack, analysis tool pack, VBA, Euro currency tools. And after you have installed the, no, after you have downloaded the uh, Excel to LaTeX on your computer, you should be able to find it here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come and uh, activate it because I've already activated mine. That's why you can, you see that, uh, uh, and click on it. So uh, for you, when you come here, it will be like this. Now you have to come here and activate that. And click on OK. So after you've done that, uh, it's not going to pop up immediately. So what you'll have to do is you have to close your uh, Excel and then uh, after you have to close it and then open it again. So once you open it, um and create a table let me see if i have a table open here i just create a table here column a b c d put in just some numbers some random numbers So I want to assume that this is my table that I'm trying to send into Excel to, to LaTeX. This is my title. So you give the format that you want. Then what you're going to do is you go to add-ins. You can see add-ins. Uh, you click on the add-ins uh, menu. And you will find these two icons. The first one is for, uh, can be used if you want to convert a table into LaTeX. This is what we're going to be doing. That we want to convert this table here into LaTeX. The second one is if you would like to convert all the tables that we have stored into LaTeX. I've never used this one before. I don't know if you'll have an opportunity to use that one day, but. So I'm just gonna use the one I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm used to. So let me click on this. I click on that. 
what it is telling me is uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Access Security now is so basically uh, maybe my computer is speaking that it's like a virus being installed on the computer so I need to confirm that uh, I know that what's going on so I'm gonna e enable that and then uh, enable macros now this is what I have here so this is my table now Okay, so I'm gonna confirm that the table that I'm trying to convert into latte is on this worksheet one. And as you can see here, so LaTeX is already recognizing where my table is located because I did select my table before. It's from C4 to F13, yes. Now, after selecting or confirming my table here, what I have to do is I'm going to copy to clipboard. And that's it. Now you go to your uh, LaTeX. Okay, so this is my, uh, uh, I'm in my LaTeX here. So what I can do is just Control V. Then if I recompile, Yep, I've got my table here. As you can see, my table is very simple. I didn't put in kind of specific formats. You know, if you want, you can play with this. Uh, what I always recommend is you design your table in uh, Excel. You give it a, a, a format that you want. Uh, then just convert it, just what we've done. Now, you will see that uh, LaTeX will be given titles automatically. So you can uh, come here and deactivate this and put your own title. Or it's okay, you can also come and say, let's say, table, what well, that's table one already. Descriptive starts. It's just an example. It's not gonna happen. So it doesn't matter whether the table is big or small, you know. If it's big, you can try to split the table or you can try to uh, change your, the, the format of your page into uh, a landscape. Maybe it's gonna work. Or, you know. Okay, uh, I hope that was uh, helpful. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.